Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very, very good. I thought you were watching the game. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought like, hey, all the students are going to be watching the game, I said. They are not going to be in the class. Le voy a poner silencio ahorita. And how is the game going? Are we winning? Well, it's a great pleasure for me to see you again, for me to be with you here in another class. Hello, Tatiana. Hello, Roberto. And hello, teacher. For sure. Hello, Jonathan. Hi, teacher. He was running to silence the game. <laughs> what you, well, is the, how are your day? Uh, well, my day, my day was very busy, very tiring, but I, I am very happy every time I have the opportunity to to come to the class and to do something different. So I really like to to come to the classroom and then to forget about everything and to enjoy the class. Well, did you? I I saw that many of you had the opportunity to continue advancing on the platform. Oh, Mr. Guillermo is in the airport. I recognize that ceiling. And Ahora tenemos para terminar, ¿verdad? Yeah, the midterm, yes. Yes, you were supposed to finish the midterm part today. So we're going to go and check all the exercises. If you haven't finished, you are going to have the opportunity to finish uh, with me today. For sure, we're going to, to continue advancing, right, in what we are doing. Teacher. Yes. Eh, hasta, hasta hoy tenemos para llenar la plataforma. Ajá, el avance de hoy era hasta el midterm. Ya tiene que ser completado todos los exámenes de midterm. Ajá, y si ya avanzaron a la sección 4 y 5, pues aún mejor. Yo no he podido eh, terminar, teacher, pero voy a procurar ter terminarlo hoy. Okay, we're going to work on that also in the class. So you can check on the details for you to check on, on mistakes or things. So it's going to be easier for you to finish. Okay, we are going to work on, on the platform today as well. So you can actually see, you can actually um, check if you are missing something then you can just mark it out and you can finish in advance, okay? So uh, yesterday we were talking about comparatives and superlatives, right? That was the last part of our class. We were talking about uh, the different forms of adjectives and how we transform them uh, to convert them into comparatives, right? And uh, the last thing we did in the class was to transform some adjectives, right? We were transforming some uh, adjectives into comparatives. And today we are going to check a little bit on that, right? Remember, practice your English as much as possible. Be respectful and polite. I know you always do it, but I have to remember that every day. Attend all your classes. Keep your cameras active work on the educational platform, and for sure, keep an active and cooperative group, cooperative activity in the WhatsApp group. And I am very happy that all of you always do that. So can you give me examples of comparatives that we studied yesterday in the class? Examples of comparatives. Yesterday, small. It's small. small. Good. Very good. Another one. We started small, and the comparative form is A smaller. Smaller. Very good. 
another example of comparative? Big. Big. Bigger. bigger. Very good. Another example? Cheap. Uh, cheaper. Cheap. Cheaper. Very good. Another one. Fast. Faster. Fast. Faster. Very good. Another example. Lazy, lazy, lazy. Lazy, lazier. Good, very good. Another one. What's another example? Heavy, heavier. Heavy, heavier. Very good. Another oh. one. Dry, drier. A dry, drier. Very good. Excellent. Another one. Another happy. example. Happy, happy, happy. happier. Very good. Happy. Happier. Very nice. Excellent. Excellent job on remembering the different adjectives, right? There are many adjectives that we already know. For example, here I have a little compilation. Okay. I have a little compilation of adjectives that we already know, right? I am going to show them to you and you tell me if you know all of them. Pretty, elegant, tall, big. Dangerous, good, small, short, easy, intelligent, serious, smiley, wonderful, nice, exciting, fast, happy, sad, strong, kind. It's not kind, okay? Es un error bien común. Kind. And it's kind. Kind. Helpful, little, busy. It's not busy, okay? It's busy. Clever, hard. Interesting, attractive, beautiful, wonderful, near, close, sweet, handsome, good looking, warm, hot, difficult, boring, expensive, and modern. Do you know the meaning of all of them? Yes? Yes, no? Uh, yes, what does, uh -huh. yep. what does it mean clever? Clever. Uh, clever. Clever is, <laughs> in good Salvadorian, it will be vivo, buso, <laughs> intelligent, <laughs> clever. Because there are many people who are very intelligent, right? That is an ability. There are many others that are smart. So you analyze and create. But the ones that are clever, you say like, hagamos así, hombre. And then they have this ability to invent things on the moment. And you say, like, no, hombre, mira, decirle esto. And then you're like, I never imagined that. That's clever, right? The ones that are very intelligent in some cases for the good, in some cases for the bad, right? But clever in the end. Any other question? No, that was the only new one. Hot. Hot. Like San Miguel, La Unión, Usulután. That's hot. And in the in the person? <laughs> well, when they are very sexy and elegant, that's hot. I am hot, you say, because you are very um, very attractive. Or when you are doing something and you are very dedicated to that, you say, I am hot, I am on fire. It means that you are like, <laughs> how do you say that in Spanish? Cuando dice, estoy prendido, estoy pero chispudo, me ahorita, deme en otro que hago, que hago 20 en el ratito. Yeah. I am hot, I am on fire, right? If it is on a person. It sometimes looks, for example, if you go to the gym and you exercise a lot, it's like oh, you look hot and handsome, right? Hot is like attractive, right? Very elegant and sexy. Or when you have temperature, you're hot. <laughs> and now in the pandemic, if you are hot, <laughs> that's a bad thing. Now, yes, it's like, I fíjate que tengo como fiebre. And you escape. <laughs> yeah. En el pasado le decían, enseña quiero ver. Ah, sí, tené fiebre. Ahora, tené fiebre. <laughs> and you escape. <laughs> COVID. <laughs> and then you run away. 
Yeah, it's a very terrible thing. So that's the meaning of hot. And warm, warm can be also used in a person. Salvadorian people are really warm because you always welcome someone new. You are very lovely, very nice, very sociable, very familiar. So that's the meaning of warm in a person, right? And it can be warm, for example, a very big sweater, it's really warm, right? The cobija de tigre, it's very warm. So you can use it in different forms. But talking about comparatives, we are going to come back later to create the comparative form of all of them. I am going to go over some of the rules. I have here the first rule of comparatives. Francisco Isaac, can you help me to read the first rule? Repeat. Can you help me to read the first rule? First, okay. A comparative, longer, longer darker, brighter, weaker, warmer. Okay, but what is the rule of the comparative? Adding ER. Adding to ER form a to comparative. form a comparative. And what is the example? Longer, darker, brighter, quicker, warmer. Uh -huh. But what is the example? It has a number two in it. Barry. Barry is taller. Uh -huh. Than Eric. Eric uh -huh. is shorter than Barry. Okay. Barry is taller than Eric. Eric is shorter than Barry, right? Or Barry in this case, right? This is the first rule, the first example on which you only add ER to the verb and then you form the comparative form, right? It doesn't make that, that big change. And as you can see, all the examples have the ER form and they are transformed into the adjective. The black part of the word is the adjective, okay? Important thing, you cannot make this plural, okay? Please don't say longers. They are longer than the other one because we are not Russian, right? They are longer. No, please, no. <laughs> they are longer because the adjectives cannot be plural in the comparative form and in any other form of them. So in this case, we add the ER to them. You have young, younger, strong, stronger, smart, smarter, weak, weak, devil, right? Weaker, neat. Neat means ordenado, neater. In this case, I can say, I am neater than my sister, right? Colder, más helado, and older, right? This is the first rule of the comparatives, adding ER to the normal form of the adjective. Any question on this rule? Yes? Yes, any question. Yeah. Uh, how, do you say, how do you say, Longer in, in plural, in two, three. Okay, the, the adjectives cannot be plural. You can make the sentence plural. This way you will be For able example, to give correct fear being asked. This way you will be able to give a correct answer. They say, um, the short, let's say, the pants are longer than. the, uh, let's say, the shorts, okay? The pants are longer than the shorts. In this case, the sentence is plural. The form is plural, but the adjective cannot be plural, okay? No podemos decir the pants are longer than the shorts. La oración es la que tenemos que hacer plural, no el adjetivo, okay? Okay, gracias. That's a very good question. Very excellent question. Okay, any other question about this first rule? No? Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. Brincamos a la otra? Brinquemos, teacher. Brincamos a la otra? 
Yes. Brinquemos. Brinquemos. Let's jump. You say very good. No, no Spanish in the class. <laughs> good. The next rule. The next rule here. Uh, it goes like this. What is the second rule, Mister? Let's see. I am going to choose another boy. No, I am going to choose a girl. Monica Escobar, can you help me to read the second rule and the examples? Moniquita Escobar. Hello, una, hello, dos. Ah, she's here, she's here. <laughs> read the second rule and the examples. Teacher, yep. Weather is el clima. The weather. No, in this case, weather is the form of comparative of the adjective wet. Wet, mojado, weather, mm. más ma, ma, mojado. <laughs> Super mojado. Super mojado. Okay, Monica. <laughs> No te escucho. Quizás tenemos algún problema con el audio. Lisette Castillo, ¿me ayudas con la segunda y los ejemplos? Adding here to a one syllable adjective and end in a single vowel and a single consonant. Ok. Cool, not possible, be weather. And the table, the little chart that we have there? Bigger, fatter, hotter, sadder, madder, thinner. Okay, so we have adding ER to a one syllable adjective that ends in a single vowel and a single consonant. Consonant, vowel, consonant, rule. Harold's clothes could not possibly be wetter, right? Wet is the adjective, wet, right? Mojado. But we have to add another consonant and ER. Hacemos doble consonante, ER, en los adjetivos que son consonante, vocal, consonante. Aquí tenemos big, bigger, fat, fatter, hot, hotter, sad, sadder, right? Mad. Do you know what's the meaning of mad? Enojado. Enojado. Molesto, right? Ugh. Mad. Thin. Delgadito. Delgado. And thinner. Y ahora ya saben por qué el thinner se llama thinner. Porque adelgaza. Adelgazante. <laughs> adelgazante. Ah, <laughs> 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 like, oh. Oh my God, 30 <laughs> años después en mi vida, oh my God. <laughs> the thinner, that's why. You see the importance of knowing English, that's important. So here you have the examples for the second rule. Is it clear on this rule? Is it everything clear? Yes, no? Yes. Thumbs up, very good. Let's go to the next one. The next rule. Jonathan is going to help me with the next rule. Paremos a la selecta un segundo. The okay. next rule. <laughs> Adding ER to an adjective than N and E. A. Y. J. Y. 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 And Y. Then the adjective ends and at Y, you must chant the A. The Y to an I, then add R V E R E R E R to from the comparative that was the funniest, funniest thing I have ever heard. Uh -huh. Is it the correct? Uh -huh. Wait, 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 wait. Is it the correct form of the comparative that one? 
Hablen para ahora ti. o caen para siempre. ¿Está bien la oración que les acabo de poner ahí? No. Why? It's Ajá, because it's oh. a superlative. If you tell me, yes, teacher, it's correct, it's because you are not paying attention. Si me dicen que está correcta y que así es, no me estaban poniendo atención. Jonathan says the rule, adding oh, ER, right? ER, eh? como ER, sala de emergencias, right? ER, emergency room. Yeah. Okay. Emergency room, ER. Eh. Right? But in the, in, the, okay. in the names, ER, it's emergency room. Here is the letters, ER. Adding ER to an adjective that ends in Y. When the adjective ends in Y, you must change the Y to an I and add ER to the comparative. So here we can have, my brother is funnier than my sister. My brother is funnier than my sister. Because the next sentence that you have there, that was the funniest thing I have ever heard. It's a superlative form, okay? We need to be very careful. Thank you, Jonathan, for the rule. Angela, can you help me to read the examples? Prettier, angrier, happier, busier, busier, busier. Lovelier, sillier, sleepier, thirstier, uglier. Uglier, uglier, right? Uglier. Do you know the meaning of all these adjectives? Yes. Okay. What does it mean, sillier? Um, como gracioso. Mm, yeah, gracioso, bobo, that's good. Thirstier? Sediento. Sediento, right? Thirstier. Uglier. Muy feo. Más feo, right? And angrier. Eh, no. Muy enojado. Yeah, very angry, right? And for sure, here we can add the other one, hungry. And it's hungrier, right? Hungrier. If you are hungrier, then you are going to be angrier and everything is going to be a total mess, right? Yeah, si su novia se enoja, pruebe primero con la comida. Maybe she's hungry. <laughs> we never know. Maybe she's hungry. And that's why she's angry. Con los esposos y los novios, it's the same. Si está enojado, pruebe la comida primero. Teacher. <laughs> yes. I have, a, I have a question. Tell me. ¿Cuándo entonces tenemos que uh, agregar el el ER. Cuando hacemos la forma del adjetivo en comparativo. En todo, cuando estemos usándolo para comparar alguna situación, algún objeto, dos cosas, we use the ER on the adjective. Only okay. to compare. To compare. You can say, imagine that you have an aguacatero dog and a schnauzer. You say, uh, the schnauzer is more expensive than the aguacatero. But the aguacatero, it's more loyal than the schnauzer. The schnauzer is more beautiful than the aguacatero. But the aguacatero is braver than the schnauzer. So Brilliant. you are comparing, right? Comparing the different things. And in that case, you use adjectives to make the comparisons. That's when you use the ER forms, only in adjectives, okay? Here we have the next form of the adjectives. We're going to ask Jocelyn Agreda to read the rule and the examples. Okay. Adding ER to a one syllable adjective that ends in E. For adjectives that end in E, you must only add R to make a comparative and is T to make a superlative. Wow, your cat is much longer than mine. Exactly like that. And the examples? A closer, wisher. Wiser. Wiser, stranger, hunger, ruder, loser, safer, cuter, gentler, 
simple. Sim simple. Simple. Very good. Huge, huger. Right? Huger, it's like more, it's like bigger than. Huge is enormous, right? And huger, it will be more enormous than any other thing, right? That's the meaning of huge. And the other one is when you say loser, in this case, it's not the, the loser that you imagine. It's like, eh. No, it's not that type of loser. You use that for the clothing. For example, like the like the blouse that I have today, you say the the sleeves are loose. So son como floja. See, sí. they are loose. So they are this is looser than any other blouse that I can have, right? Son como más extensas, más grandes, más holgadas. So that's the meaning of loser. Okay. Do you remember like in 2000, como en el 2000, 2001, 2002, se pusieron de moda unos pantalones que eran como tres size de pierna de, de, de la gente, que decían, eran los pantalones tumbados. ¿Verdad? La gente con unos grandes jeans así como gigantes. That's loose, loose. Right? No sé quiénes de aquí vivieron ese momento de, de la moda. Right? Y si lo vivieron, <laughs> we were there. Algunos de ustedes me habían nacido. <laughs> Very old. <laughs> so, eh, that is the meaning of lose. Eh, wise is smart, intelligent, right? Wise, sabio. Eh, rude is grosero. Rude, ruder. And gentle is amable. Gentle is the opposite of rude. Gentler. And simple, you know what simple is, right? And in this case, you don't say closer, wiser, stranger. No le van a poner ER al adjetivo porque ya tiene la E. Solo le falta la R para formar el comparativo. Okay, that's important. The next one. For this one, I am going to ask Tatiana Martinez to help me to read the rules and Heidi the examples. Comparative or superlative with adjectives that have two or more syllables. 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 Mark two syllables. Adjectives will take more. Karen is the most honest person I know. Huh. And here I am going to add the other example. Comparative, uh -huh. more, more interesting, more complete, more beautiful, more important, more dangerous, more colorful, more exciting, more complex, more boring. Okay, more interesting, more complete, more beautiful, more important, more dangerous more colorful, more exciting, more complicated, and more boring. Okay, taking into account this one, we are going to create one example. We are going to say this one is, and we're going to use one of the examples here, than the other one. For example, I can say English is more a uh, complicated than French, okay? And here I have one example. English is more complicated than French and I'm going to erase this one. Let me erase this thing. And I'm going to write the sentence here. I need you to think in one sentence using one of these adjectives. Follow the example and just change the objectives that you are comparing. English is more complicated than French. Okay. Usando esa oración que les puse ahí como ejemplo, tenemos que buscar un noun o algo que estemos comparando, el verbo to be, si el objeto es singular, pues is, si es plural, are. More complicated, 
que es el adjetivo en su forma comparativa, dan, que es la forma que ocupamos para comparar, y el otro objeto que estamos usando. If I say, for example, men are more complicated than women. Is it true or false? False. False, false teacher, false. <laughs> false. Ajá. Ajá. Pregúntele qué tenis le gustan más. Es like, no, eso no, porque no, mira, con esto no puedo jugar fútbol, no, mira, con esto no puedo, no sé qué, con esto nunca suele, esto no es, ay, my God. O los tacones con ustedes. <risa> ay, no, es que este rojo no me gusta, es que es como rojo navidad y ese es como rojo. El tacón muy grande, no, muy chiquito, no, muy, <risa> ay, no. muy ay, delgado, la, muy grueso. En la grueso. colonia se me traba ahí en los, en los bachos. <risa> ok, so create one sentence using one of the adjectives that you have on the list, comparing two things. Teacher. Yep. I have a question. Go ahead. What is the difference of most and more? Very good question. Most is the superlative form. Ahí no hay nadie más que gane. Si decimos, okay. Karen is the most honest person I know. And I have the other form. She is more honest than Mariana. Okay. Primero decimos que es la más. Ahí ya no hay nadie más honesto que Karen. Karen is the top one. Superlative. Está como super above everybody. That's the difference. And I, that's why I wrote the example. Okay. Let me see. Francisco, do you have your example? Aquí nadie va a pelear, okay. no se preocupen. Ajá. Okay, Leo. Okay. No, no, no. Create one example using one of the comparatives. Cualquiera de todos estos que tengo aquí. Cualquiera de todos estos. In uh, one sentence. The woman. Ajá. Arman Dangerous. <laughs> the man. <laughs> women, okay, women, women are more dangerous than men. Only if we are angry, maybe. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. You see, I am a very smiley girl and happy and everything. And ah, but when I get angry, hmm? mi mama dice, cuando la nati se enoja, hasta el diablo se esconde. <laughs> <laughs> and I am like, oh, me, come on. I said, yeah, it's true. Los, los objetos no, no identificados. <laughs> yeah. yeah, ya cuando mi esposo ve que ya mezclo el, el inglés, el español, el francés. Yeah, that's like, run. <laughs> so, no. And maybe it's true, right? Maybe it's true. Uh -huh. Another example. Let's see. Guillermo, do you have one example with the comparatives? Mm, yeah. Uh, Spanish is more complicated than English. Spanish is more complicated than English. That's very true. Jonathan, what is your example? Este, lo he escrito así, pero no sé si sería así el ejemplo. It's okay. Me Read. corrige, por favor. It's okay. The policeman's job is more dangerous than teacher's job? The policeman's job, it's more dangerous than the teacher's job. It's true. It's correct. It's oh, good. Okay. Or you can say a police officer's job. Police right? officer. A police officer's job. And I'm going to write the sentence here. I will say a police officer's job is... Then you say more dangerous than a teacher's job. Okay. Here you have a police officer's job is more dangerous than a teacher's job. And that would be a sentence. Yes? El, I, bueno, es una pregunta. No uh -huh. se podría ocupar the police, the police officer job is more dangerous that a teacher's job it's possible but it sounds uh, a lot clearer if you say a police officer job el trabajo de un oficial de policía right or if you use that it's normal it's correct as well 
but this is more common to say a police officer's job. Or if you want to use that, and I'm going to make it in a, I am going to show you another example. In another, I am going to go to another slide. Okay, let me just move this one. Okay, I am going to erase this one. And if you say, the job of a police officer without the apostrophe is more and there you have it. that's a very good form and uh, in which you can use that the job of a police officer is more dangerous than the job of a teacher so that's an example where you can use that and instead of a. Teacher, but, yes. but uh, it's a long sentence. It's a, yeah, it's a little bit longer because you switch it, but the meaning is exactly the same. Or Thanks. if you want to make it simple, you can say, um, the... I think it's not the, uh huh. The butterfly is more beautiful than the worm. Yes, the butterfly is more beautiful than a worm. It's very good. Yeah. Here you have another example. A police officer has a more dangerous job than a teacher. And it's the same sentence. What about exciting? Can you give me a sentence using the comparative exciting? Uh -huh. Exciting. Give me one sentence using more exciting. Me, teacher. Go ahead. A roller coaster is more exciting than a merry-go-round. Exactly, right? A roller coaster is more exciting than a merry-go-round. Do you know what's a merry-go-round? Unos caballitos, right? That's a merry-go-round, la rueda de caballitos. And a roller coaster is like shh, 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 shh. Ah, ah, ah. That's a roller coaster, right? Very excellent coaster, example. What's the meaning? Roller coaster. A roller coaster is una, eh, how do you call this in Spanish? Montaña rusa. Montaña rusa, right? Montaña rusa. A roller coaster. Roller coaster. Yeah. Red Hot Chili Peppers has its own name, roller coaster. Yeah, so, sure. yes. And let me see. Give me one example with more boring. More boring. Drive a car is more boring. Ride a motorcycle? Yes, riding a car is more boring than riding a motorcycle. That's very good. The next one. Uh, uh, golf is more boring than soccer. I think golf is the most boring sport. Like, yay. <laughs> it's, for me, it's not a very exciting sport. Well, very good. Let me see. I am going to ask the last example. It's going to be for Catherine Reyes. Can you give me your example with one of the sentences? Um, the Cuco Beach is more beautiful than the Spino Beach. Very good. El Cuco Beach is more beautiful than the Spino Beach. Very good example. Fantastic. And. Spino. It's true, it's definitely definitely true. Irregular comparatives. In this case, we cannot say gooder, we cannot say bader, weller, or fodder, because they have their specific form. Good in the comparative form is better. Bad, worse. Well, better and far, farther or further. The two of them are possible. I can say that, uh, the original Mi Por Angelito was better than the one that it's now on the movies. 
That's one example. Uh, pupusas from Guatemala are worse than pupusas from Nicaragua. I, I'm just giving one example. Teacher. Yes. ¿En qué se diferenciaría eh, good and well en una oración? Well, si depending. The is better. Okay, very good. Depending on the original sentence. So you say, I am feeling good. So how is it going to be in the comparative? How would be the form of the comparative? I am feeling better than yesterday. Okay, there you have one form. And if I say, for example, the word was well pronounced. Think in the oración original, they say good pronounced. And I will give you the comparative form. Here you say, the, okay, I'm going to say he. He can pronounce this better. Okay. So in this form, you are using well, because if you say he can pronounce this good, it's okay, but it's in the case of pronunciation, say, hey, you pronounce well the words, right? It's the form of the adjective that you are using, right? So in this case, you are using well, and in this case, you are using good. Say, she is a good singer. She sings better than my brother, for example. And it is a sentence with good. If I have more examples on how to differentiate them, I am going to share them with you, okay? Voy a ir a darme una vuelta a ver si les encuentro más ejemplos para que puedan diferenciar entre well y good. But the idea of the sentence is the one that it's going to help you differentiate that, okay? So the sentence, la, la oración original es la que les va a dar el punto de si están ocupando good o si están ocupando well. Okay. Thanks. I'm going to send you more examples. Vamos a buscar más ejemplos. That's good. Let's continue here. And now, now that we know how to make comparatives, we are going to create these simple sentences. In this case, if I have this one, which dress is, y tenemos pretty, ¿cuál sería la forma comparativa que tenemos que ocupar aquí? Prettier. Prettier, good. Prettier. Prettier? Which dress is prettier, the yellow one or the green one? Well, the green one is silk, and silk is? More expensive. More, more, expensive. more expensive, right? Silk is more expensive. Is this blue t-shirt? Larger. Larger. Larger than? The red and white one? No, the red and white one is? Bigger. 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 It's a medium. The blue one is a small. Okay, good, very good. And I think I have another example right here. And it says, cotton and wool. Look at these pants. Which ones do you like? Better. Better, better, very good. So in this case, as you can see, you have the adjective there. Which ones do you like better? I prefer the green cotton ones. They are? More. More stylish. Stylish, right? They are more stylish. Very good. And I think I, okay, I have this one. We are going to create some sentences. We are going to create a specific sentence. And I have here the main examples. And I am going to number them. I am going to number them. This is number one. This is number two. Number three. 
four, five, six, seven, and okay. I need you please write on the chat one sentence with the form that I have here. Pongan el número de la oración y la oración que envían. For example, I am going to send you one. Imagine that I sent number one on the chat. No pueden usar el chat de la plataforma, pueden usar el chat de WhatsApp. It's okay. La número uno es, is cheaper than, and I say, um, bread is cheaper than tortillas. Okay. I have bread is cheaper than tortillas. And I click on set, number one. Okay, ah, I make you okay. Yeah. And <laughs> good, good teachers. That's very good. <laughs> That's very good that you are observating and uh, correcting. Okay, send your sentence. Go ahead. Vamos, dedos al chat. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Si se le hace más fácil en el chat de WhatsApp, envía ahí su gente. Tin, 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 tin. Go ahead. Examples, examples, examples. Hey, we have one. Aha, uh -huh. my grandfather, older than my brother, no tiene verbo. Y la primera no es mayúscula y no tiene punto. Oh my God. Fix it, fix it, fix it. Recuerden que la oración comienza con mayúscula y termina con punto. Y el verbo to be siempre tiene que ir. Let's continue. Let's continue. I have two more sentences. Chen, 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 chen. Ah! Is it possible to say more older? Si older ya está en su forma comparativa. Aha, I am more beautiful than me sisters, my sisters. Juan is taller than Jose, very good, very good. Continue, 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 continue sending. Jocelyn, corrected, I am more beautiful than my sisters. Continue, continue. My cousin is taller. Ay, the same mistake of the teacher, Francisco Isaac. Oh, you corrected. Ah, Angela Xiomara. Go ahead. The same mistake. Thank my sister. Thank my stepfather. <laughs> sister. Se nos salió la sister que vamos dentro. Teacher, what's the meaning taller? Alto? Taller, taller. Yes, más alto. Uh, <laughs> I am more beautiful than my. Ah, disculpa, what's the. <laughs> Jocelyn, what's that sentence? <laughs> my wife is more beautiful. Okay, let's see. <laughs> my wife is more beautiful than my friends. Guillermo, esposa de Guillermo. You see? My wife is more beautiful than my friends. No hay mujer más linda. You see? El corrector. A computer is more expensive than a cell phone. Very good. The Isabel's queen is older than she is. She's older than everybody. My house is bigger than my brother. <laughs> How can you compare that? My house. Okay, my house is bigger. Okay. It's, es más grande que su hermano. The pants are more expensive than the socks. In this case, if you say the, the pants. The socks, good, very good. Para hacerlo equal. Okay. Very good. Veamos si mandaron alguna WhatsApp. No. Okay, there are no sentences in WhatsApp. Okay, very good. A Mercedes Benz is more stylish than a 44 bus. For sure, it is. <laughs> the computer is more modern than the typewriter. Very good. My clock is more modern than my clock. Okay. My clock is more modern than clock my grandmother. My clock is more modern than the clock of my grandmother. 
¿ok? Y recordemos siempre, mayúscula al principio, punto al final. The computer is more modern than the typewriter. That's very good. My sister is taller than my mother. That's a better sentence. And good. I have had excellent examples in the chat. Excellent, my dear students. Very, very, very good. My very, very good job. The cell phone is, aha, uh -huh. modern. It's a long adjective. ¿Qué utilizaríamos para modern? ¿Por qué es long? Modern. Modern. Right, modern. We have more than two syllables. Well, you have two syllables. Um, but you don't say modern. It's more mother. More mother. Yes, more modern than the pencil. For sure, it is. Well, thank you very much for all the sentences that you sent on the chat, right? Thank you for all the examples that you have. Now, let's go here. We did this one at the beginning of this unit, right? You are Sue, and it says, look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? Everybody, go ahead. You are Sue. I like, I like the wool one better. The wool one, why? It's, it's so warmer. Warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It is $499. Would you like to try it on? You say, uh, no, that's okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much, my dear students. I have one last sentence. The cell phone is more, more modern than the pencil. Very good. Thank you for correcting it. Well, my dear students, that was a very good practice for uh, the comparatives and the superlatives. Now we are going to go a little bit on the platform just to check on how much you have been advancing and for sure to check on all the things that you are supposed to have done so far, okay? So we finished unit number two, right? Talking about daily schedules and everything, right? This was one of the last activities that I presented on the previous time that we uh, finished working on the platform. And for sure, unit, uh, so section number three, that it's the one that we already completed. And this marks the middle of your uh, module. In this case, right, we have a specific exercises. We did this one on the class. And what is the options that you have used in these exercises? I am going to make it bigger for you to check. Is it like, excuse me, how much? Are those? Are those? Are those? Jeans, which ones? Ones. Do you mean these? No, the light blue. One. Ones. Oh. Ones. They. They. They are fifty nine ninety five. I like that backpack over there. How much? Is it? Is it? Is it? Porque backpack is singular, right? Which one? The red. One. one. The red one. It's twenty-seven fifty, but the green one. one. It's only, it's only twenty-two twenty-five, right? That was specifically correct on that exercise. And in this one, we did this one yesterday. Así que no creo que nadie se haya equivocado aquí. Este ya lo completamos. Todavía lo completamos el día de ayer en clase. And for sure, the ones that we have here, it's a what was the one for bracelet? Plastic. Plastic. For the ring? Oh. For the tie? Silk. Silk. For the socks? Wool. Wool. For the jacket? Leather. Leather. For the shirt? Cotton. Cotton. For the earrings? Silver. Silver. And for the boots? Rubber. 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 Not rubber. Come on, rubber. Rubber. 
Right. Good. Here we have the last exercise that we have for the unit. And <clears throat> lo acabamos de hacer ahorita mismo. So there is no problem. Which dress is? Prettier. 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 Well, the green one is silk, and silk is? More expensive. More than expensive than. Yeah. Expensive severe? No existe. Uh, is this blue t-shirt? Larger. Larger than. than. Larger than, porque more larger no existe. No, the red and white one is? Bigger. 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 Porque con more big, sufren los diccionarios. <laughs> Look at these pants. Which ones do you like? Better. 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 Porque es el comparativo. I prefer the green cotton ones. They are? More stylish. More stylish than. than. More stylish than. Very good. Excellent job, my dear students. That, those were the correct answers. And for sure, here, when you finish these sections, you go specifically to the midterm exams. In the midterm exams, you have some listenings in these ones. Uh, in this one, you have a conversation, right? We did this conversation before. Say, Lucy is a math teacher. And here you have to choose the correct answer, right? Escuche la conversación y seleccione la respuesta correcta, right? And here you have, you have to listen carefully for the um, the listening, so, and for sure, choose the correct options. Tuvieron algún problema con este? No. No. No, okay, that's very good. What about the next one? Fill in the blanks. This is for the verb to be. Here, here you have to use is or are. Where? Uh. We are uh, where from. are uh, where are you uh, from, uh, Teresa? Where are you from? And it says, "I am from Mexico City." How about you? Uh, here, David. It's David. It's David. David. Very good. What? What is? Your what is class? your math class like? Very good. What about the next one, Maria? Uh, Maria and, and Brian. Brian. Uh, Maria and Brian. Very good. Where? Do you work? Do you work? Where do you work? Because it's a simple present, right? Where do you work? I work in a restaurant. I am a chef. What does, does he do? He do? What does he exactly. do exactly? He's a pilot. Where does she go to school? Where does she go to school? Very good job. Let's go for the next one. In this case, circle the world. It says, Nice to meet you, Rich. And what's your last name. Your What's last your name. last name again? My, my, last, my, my last, last name, name is, is Parker. Peter. It's Parker, Peter. <laughs> well, Peter Parker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's nice to meet you too. <laughs> this is my new friend, Elizabeth. Everyone calls? Here, Here. 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 Okay, Here. porque la estamos presentando. This is my new friend, Elizabeth. Everyone calls Here. her. Here. Her. Hair, 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 hair. Hi, Beth. We are the Johnsons. Or our. Exactly. Porque tenemos we are. Very good. And the next one. Johnny Depp is my favorite actor. I like That's in the movie. him. 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 Mm -hmm. I like him. him. Porque nos referimos a Johnny Depp. Very good. The next one. Music videos aren't very interesting. Do you like them? Them. them, porque estamos hablando en plural. Very good. My favorite TV program is Survivor. What do you think of it? It, it porque nos referimos al programa. Very good. Excellent. Here we have, ya ven que no está difícil. The next one, complete the sentences. Pero cuando lo hago solo, <laughs> so you say, in this one, Remember to use at, in, on in the correct form. Este lo estudiamos un montón. I sleep at, 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 at 10, 10 p.m. At, at 10 p.m. John gets home late at, at, night. at, at night. night. I have lunch on Saturdays. On Saturdays. I go to bed around 11 in the evening. In the evening. We have 
class? In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Very good. The next one. Con pronombres demostrativos. These, that, these, and those. How much is? This watch. This, porque lo está tocando. Le dice, I cannot find the price tag. Look at those. Those. Purple jeans. Que no los estamos tocando. Look at those purple jeans. Aren't they stylish? I like. These. These, porque los puede tocar. Right? I like these gold earrings. They look great on me. Excuse me, I like. That cup. That cup. That cup. Can I see it, please? He likes. Those. Glasses. Those sunglasses. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no, no. She likes those glasses over there. Very good job. And the last exercise that you have here was a reading. And the reading was a little email, right? And here you have some options about the reading. So for this one, I need you to complete it, please, and to complete the little exercise. This is going to be a little bit individual and we're going to check it out on the next class. Okay, my dear students, espero que todos hayan avanzado hasta sus midterm exams y si no, vayan a terminarlos ahorita en una carrerita que nos tomó menos de tres minutos revisarlos, okay? Have a beautiful night. I am going to see you tomorrow for another class. Take care. Teacher. Bye bye. 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 Good night. Thank you. Good night, Bye -bye. Teacher. Have a good night. Bye-bye.